You've heard the name, you've seen them before. Maybe you might have even encountered one in the wild. With the presence of the pandemic and rise of racial tensions, Karens have been seen now more than ever with the videos of them going viral for making a scene where there is a lack of a scene to be made. Let us look back upon the origins of the meme, the explanation of its stereotypes, and understanding their behavior. This is Karens Explained, a study of narcissism. <laughs> Meredith Clark, a media researcher at the University of Virginia, has found that when it comes to the characterization of a Karen, a generally disliked and bitchy woman, has existed for a few decades, as far back as the 90s with the release of Baby Got Back, and the debut of Becky, a white woman belittling a black woman, criticizing her appearance and worth as a person. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. She looks like one of those rap guys' girlfriends. Who understands those However, there are a few competing ideas as to why the name Karen specifically may have been chosen. One of the earliest known usage of the term Karen in a prerogative manner is in the 2004 film Mean Girls, with a cliche dumb blonde character asking a racially ignorant question. Oh, England. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. There were also beliefs it may have stemmed from a comedy routine in 2005 by Dane Cook, where he joked about friend groups keeping a friend that everybody in the group hates, using the name Karen as an example. You're all here tonight, and this is what I've realized. I had an epiphany, and here it is right here. There is one person in every group of friends that nobody fucking likes. You basically keep them there to hate their guts. When that person is not around the rest of your little base camp, your hobby is cutting that person down. Example, Karen is always a douchebag. Every group has a Karen and she's always a bag of douche. When she's not around, you just look at each other and go, God, Karen, she's such a douchebag. Until she walks up and then you're like, hey, what's up, Karen? But the name Karen may have become especially mainstream with Reddit. A user by the name Fuck You Karen was well known for his hateful rants on his ex-wife Karen, who allegedly took both their children and house in their divorce. The presence of this user had grown to evolve into his own designated subreddit, r slash fuck you Karen, which exposes and makes fun of the Karens found out and about, especially those seen opposing social distancing and other incidences of causing a scene. Another factor in the mainstream appeal of the Karen terminology may have come from the community of Black Twitter, an informal community largely consisting of African-American users, where they are able to satirize the racial hostility they often face at the hands of white people. As technology evolves, allowing ease of filming on our smartphones, it is now easier than ever to capture these egocentric encounters on video, where they are then uploaded and shared online, resulting in the viral videos we so often see today. With the help of communities such as Black Twitter documenting the discrimination of which they face, the stereotype of Karens that was once more associated with the entitled customer who overreacts and demands to see the manager has since become more politicized, leading more towards the field of racism, anti-vax, right-wing, and so on as they become more widespread online. But why is that exactly? Much of the Karen meme has its roots in middle-aged white women, who more often than not can be found on the right side of the political spectrum. With the presidency of Donald Trump, there had been a great resurgence of white supremacy and racially motivated actions. As a notable amount of white women are right-winged, it follows that Karens that are often seen in this day and age would tend to have right-wing beliefs such as anti-Black Lives Matter, anti-vax, and anti-immigration. Perpetrators of racial discrimination possess a sense of entitlement, believing they are above others due to the color of their skin. Any sense of inconvenience or attack on their reputation, especially by those of color who they deem to be inferior, the Karens will justify their actions in whatever means necessary as long as it maintains their ego and sense of superiority over those of color. Heather Suzanne Woods, author of Make America Meme Again, a meme researcher and professor at Kansas State University, describes how Karens demand the world exist according to her standards with very little regard for others. She is willing to risk or demean others to achieve her ends, with a very heavy emphasis on their entitlement, selfishness, and desire to complain. Oftentimes, Karens will defend their behavior and explain that they have no malicious nor racist intent. For example, in the case of Amy Cooper, who called the police on a black man for asking her to keep her dog on a leash, defended her actions by stating, I'm not a racist, and I did not mean to harm that man in any way. 
In virtually every incident, Karens are ignorant of their own actions and the consequences of which they hold. More often than not, these Karens are inherently privileged through various factors such as the color of their skin, their upbringing, their social status, and so on. Through these variables, they have gotten an experience of being able to do whatever they want which creates a narcissistic personality. Due to how often they get to have their way in life, they go along with it believing they are an inherently good person that has the power to do whatever they want, developing and believing a story in their head explaining so. When caught in bad behavior, they are presented with two choices, either see their faults and admit their wrongs, or double down on the idea that they are an inherently good person, shifting the blame onto others believing they are the ones in the wrong. More often than not, since the Karens so deeply believe the idea that they are good people with no flaws and that the world revolves around them, they opt for the latter of the two options, escalating the conflict at hand in order to defend their position. The best way to avoid being a Karen is to be okay with being wrong sometimes and admitting not everything revolves around you. The Karen meme has been a great way to humor one another while simultaneously criticizing one's use of privilege when they are seemingly unaware of it. There's been a surge of popularity in this term, especially with the current state of the United States of political division and turmoil. But upon these dark times, behind the ridicule of Karens, viral videos, and racist rants, it's important to reflect upon one another, understanding that at the end of the day, our actions hold major consequences, and we must do a better job of avoiding these errors. Hey,